Time is running out. That's the warning coming from educators at the University of Toronto as one by one post-secondary students across the GTA head back to class this week. U of T staff say their school continues to ignore their safety concerns, putting staff and students at risk as the semester begins on Thursday. They just won't sit down with us and they won't share decision making related to our very serious concerns about the U of T plan. Concerns the coalition comprised of five campus unions at U of T have detailed asking to pause in-person classes and instead listen to experts who have highlighted gaps and deficiencies in the back-to-school plans. U of T says the majority of classes will be offered online and it expects no more than 5% of normal academic activity on campus compared to last year. All of Ontario universities are following the sensible course, which is to say, if it can be taught online, it will be taught on, online. U of T, I think, is clearly, by a country mile, the most risky plan. It's the one that has brought people together for face-to-face -face teaching where other options were possible. The coalition is concerned with crowded places, closed spaces with poor ventilation, fearing its school can see the same outbreaks like those in the U.S. recently experienced. Time has run out. And I'm really afraid we're going to see the consequences of this risk taking in the coming weeks and months. A U of T spokesperson says they consulted with public health policies and experts for their back to school plans. Quote, the small number of classes such as some teaching labs and individual practicums that will be in person are the ones faculty felt were best to do in person. And that can be done while respecting public health guidelines for physical distancing and other measures. We know from our students that not all of them have access to reliable internet and a suitable place to study. And addressing this inequity is one of the reasons we will have limited in-person activity on our campus. The school adds that they have improved ventilation filters that meet industry standards. The coalition, though, says they haven't seen the details. If you don't have good ventilation, the virus can hang in the air for a very long time indoors. Meanwhile, students at Ryerson University had their first day of school today, a start to a school year like no other. The adjective I would use is apprehensive for sure. Um, a little bit wary. Mixed emotions on campus practically empty today as a majority of courses are offered online this fall. Virtually I have six and I don't have any in person this year. Oh. Yeah, it's hard. I was really excited to like come back and see all my like friends and everything in Toronto, but like school wise, it's kind of unmotivating to just be, be here and not be in class university spokesperson adding that they are exploring the potential mix of online and in-person courses. I wish they would reduce the tuition cost because we're not on campus and we're not getting most of what we paid for so I know it's hard for them too but it, that's just how I feel as a student. And here at U of T the school says it has ordered 250,000 non-medical reusable cloth face masks to distribute to staff and students. The coalition though points out that these aren't cloth lined and therefore not the best masks on the market. At the University of Toronto, I'm Faisa Amin for City News.